name's Pixie. What's your name? Brutus. Well, we! What a pretty name! We're gonna be bestest friends! You're very small and weak. If anything bigger than a squirrel wanted to hurt you, you wouldn't stand much of a chance. I guess I'll have to protect you. I love you too. Hey, Brutus, you want to see my spooky Halloween costume? It's over a month away. Okay, I'll go put it on. All right, before I show you, just remember, it's only a costume. It's not real, okay? Okay. <laughs> Did I scare you? Did I? Did I? Did I? Yes. You know, I could teach you how to be scared if you want. I'd appreciate that. This is my bed, but you can use it too, since you don't have your own. Uh, thanks. This part of the house is super duper dangerous. If you fall, you could get really hurt. Well, thanks for the warning. That's Randall the raccoon. He's a raccoon. He's also really grumpy. One time I asked him if he wanted to play, and he said to leave him alone or he'd bite me. So you should probably stay away from him. Good idea, Pixie. He'd probably rip my ugly striped tail off. Yeah, wait, you don't have any stripes on your tail. That'll do. All right, Pixie, if you ever run into trouble and I'm not around to help you, you're going to have to know how to defend yourself. So, if this big mean animal is trying to hurt you, what do you do? Hi, I'm Pixie. Please don't hurt me. That would be mean. Let's be friends. What? No, don't ask him to not hurt you. Go for his neck. Like this? N no, I mean bite his neck. With your teeth. Wouldn't that kind of hurt? Yeah. <sighs> yes, it's supposed to hurt. That's the point. But if I hurt him, he might not want to be my friend. <sighs> hey, Brutus, we should do best friend costumes. What do you mean? You know, like you could be a flower and I could be a bumblebee. Oh, um, maybe something else. How about the princess and the bee? Uh, what else you got? How about Batman and Robin? Uh, you know what? I like that one. Let's do it. Wow, wee, Brutus! You're so colorful! Hey, check this out! I am the knight. Oh, jeepers! Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Are you hurt? I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, Brutus! Come watch this fun movie I just turned on. It's called, uh, Nighttime on Elmo Street, I think. Huh? What's it about? Huh? Well, I'm pretty sure it's about a bunch of kids playing hide-and-seek with this Freddy Krueger guy. I think you mean Freddy Krueger. Oh, yeah, that's it. Hmm? Huh? Oh, look, he found one. Ah. Hey, Mr. Wrinkles, can I ask you something? <sighs> what do you want, Lola? Well, I was just wondering, are there alien dogs on your home planet, too? I'm not an alien. Oh, okay. But do they also have alien squirrels to chase after? I said I'm not an alien! I've told you a hundred times already. I'm a sphinx cat, as in a cat breed that is naturally bald. I'm literally just a hairless cat, not an alien! Right, a hairless cat. Next thing you're gonna tell me, there's a breed of hairless dogs. There is a breed of hairless dogs. It's called Zolo. Sure, Zolo dog, sphinx cat. Listen, if you're gonna make up words, come up with something that sounds a little less, you know, made up. Uh, why do I even try? And I thought aliens were supposed to be smart. I'm not an alien! Hey, Brutus! The human says you're an NWD. What's that? It stands for Military Working Dog. Who's military? N no, not a person. A military is a group of people that, uh, partake in war on behalf of their home country. What's war? And, uh, well, it's when opposing militaries engage each other and... And? And... 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 And, and, and what? And then they play fun games together. Well, we I want to go to war. Sounds super fun. Yeah, fun. Lola, stop eating my food. How do you know it's your food? It literally has my name on it. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I've got some extra food in my spaceship. Sp spaceship? You have a spaceship? Where? It's in the backyard. I knew it! I knew you were an alien! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Yep. There's no fool in you. You're just too clever. Hey, Wrinkles! I still can't find it! Is it, in is it invisible or something? Yep, invisible for sure. 
Of course! Alien technology, I should have known! I'll keep looking. Oh, I'm sure you're real close. Target spotted. 10 4. Officer Pixie, you are clear to engage. Hmm. Gotcha! You are under arrest! Do not resist! <sighs> Get on the ground, Mr. Criminal! Oh, darn! You've captured me! <laughs> That's right! And now you're gonna bad guy chill, you bad guy! Psst! Randall, are you okay? I didn't mean to tackle you so hard. Wow, look at all this beautiful snow! Oh, joyous day. I can hardly contain my excitement. Heesh, what are you so grumpy for? I'm a hairless cat in the middle of winter. Figure it out, Sherlock. Sounds like you need a big warm hug. Don't touch me. No, I mean a really big warm hug. What are you talking about? Hugo, come quick! Mr. Wrinkles is freezing to death! He needs an emergency hug! Emergency hug? What? No, Hugo, I'm not freezing to death! I save you. <laughs> mm, all better. Do you feel better? I feel like I've been run over by a dump truck. Look, that must be Pixie's new big brother she told us about. Let's go wish him a Merry Christmas. Are you sure? He seems a bit unsociable. What, just because he's big and dark? You can't judge a book by its cover. I suppose you're right. We ought to introduce ourselves anyhow. It's the neighborly thing to do. Hi there, my name's Lola and this is Mr. Wrinkles. You must be our new neighbor. <laughs> Yeah, so we just thought we'd introduce ourselves uh, and wish you a Merry Scarface. Christmas. Christmas! I meant Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Okay, we're gonna go now. That dog looks like he eats nails for breakfast. What happened to don't judge a book by its cover? Oh, shut up. My masterpiece is complete! Hey, Brutus, come look at this lion's nose sculpture I made. Oh, that's, um, amazing. Thanks! It almost looks real, doesn't it? Yeah. Real. And check out this other one. Oh my, another lion. Even more real looking than the last one. That's not a lion, silly. It's you. Can't you tell? That's me? Uh, oh, I mean, yeah. Of course I can tell that it's me. It's like looking in a mirror. Uh. The jaguar's powerful muscles and claws allow it to easily climb any tree. Wowee! Climbing trees would be super fun. I wish I had claws. Pixie, you are a cat. You do have claws. Uh-uh, see? All I got is these little fuzzy paws. Just flex your fingers. Uh, okay, like this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stay away, scary monster! Uh, Hugo, what's wrong? Shh, I'm hiding. Scary flying monster tried to eat me. Look! Hmm. Hugo, that's an owl. Owl? Oh, well, it still tried to eat me. Hugo, you're a 300 pound dog. I really doubt it was trying to eat you. Wowee, what a pretty flower. <gasps> oh, hey Brutus, check out this pretty flower I found. Wow, very pretty. Look what I just found. <gasps> Wowee, a birdie feather. Where did you find it? Oh, uh, it was just laying around. I just don't trust that big scary dog around tiny little Pixie. I agree, wait. What's he doing? Oh, did he just give her a flower? That's actually really nice of him. Huh, I guess he's not mean. Yeah, I suppose we don't have to be afraid of him after all. Hmm? Mm hmm? Do you think he saw us? You're an idiot. Wow, we Brutus, is that you? Back in my rookie days. You were so small and cute. Uh, well, uh, well, that's not my fault. I couldn't help it. I was just a pup. <sighs> yeah, I guess I was cute. Whatever. Who's that guy next to you? That's Sergeant Sergio Castillo. He was my handler. He looks like a really nice guy. Yeah, he was a nice guy. Super Pixie flies to the rescue! Hmm. Super strength! Hmm. Super laser eyes! Hmm. Psst, Brutus, laser eyes! Uh oh, right. Kaboom! A puddle! Yippee! Pixie! What are you thinking? You can't swim. Keepers! Thanks, Brutus. I didn't think it was that deep. Well, you want to check before just diving in. Yeah, I know. I just get so excited when I see puddles. All I can think of doing is splashing in the... Hey, look! A puddle! Yippee! Mm hmm? Right. I forgot. Hey, Brutus! Look at this awesome daredevil stunt I've been practicing! Mm hmm? Hmm! Oof! Ta-da! Wow. Very cool. Wait! 
got one more, and this one is really, really cool. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, wow. Very cool. You know what? That was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. Really? Hands down. Hey, Mr. Wrinkles. Look, it's you. A piece of chewed gum. Very funny. Hey, Hugo. Do you want to play a game? Oh, yes. Me love games. Let's see how fast you can run a lap around the house. But you gotta bring this with you. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Isn't that my... Go! <clears throat> well played, Wrinkles. Thanks. <laughs> Doing good, Pixie. Just be careful. I must sell him a spin to the top. Uh, uh, yeah, almost. Oh, hi, Hugo. Hello, Pixie. Ahem, Pixie, who's this big dog? Oh, hi, Brutus. That's Hugo. <clears throat> Is he hostile? Ah, scary dog, scary dog. Scary dog, scary dog, scary dog, scary dog, scary dog. Uh, never mind. Hey, Chubby, what you got there, bud? Oh, uh, hi, Randall. This is my bone. How about you give it to me? Be a pal. But, but... You take my bone yesterday, and day before that. Of course I took you bones. I'm doing you a favor. The last thing a fatso dog like you need is more to eat. Uh, but bones not for eating. Bones are for chewing. Whatever. Just fork it over, you dumb blob. Hey, Pixie, who's that really big dog again? Oh, you mean Hugo? Does he get bullied a lot? Yeah, mostly by Randall. Lola says it's because he's a marshmallow. I think because he's white and brown like a roasted marshmallow. Uh... I think she means to say that he's soft. But that's not his fault. Some dogs are just fluffy. N no, not literally soft. She's saying he's a pushover. Oh, I get it. But Hugo is really big. It would probably be super hard to push him over. No, <sighs> she means he doesn't stand up for himself. But he no. can stand up by himself. I've seen him do it. Pixie. Look, he's standing right now even. He doesn't defend himself from mean or unfair treatment. Ooh. But luckily for him, I know a certain dog that can help him out. Really? Who? You two. I'm looking for Hugo. Seen him? Uh, oh, Hugo? No, haven't seen him at all. Why? I've noticed he's got a bit of a raccoon problem. I want to help him out. <clears throat> oh, you're going to stop Randall from bullying him? No, Hugo is. But, but he can't. He's just not, you know... He's not confrontational. He's a big pushover. Perhaps you could, you know, scare Randall off for him? Hmm... Give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. Teach him to fish, and he's fed for a lifetime. Uh, how's fishing gonna help Hugo? You are an idiot. <sighs> it's a figure of speech. I'm saying that Hugo shouldn't depend on others to stick up for him. He's a big dog. He's gotta learn to defend himself. Oh, I get it. But, like, none of us even have thumbs. How are we gonna hold the fishing rod? Or reel anything in for that matter? Please stop talking. I guess we could hold stuff with our mouths, but that would still be tricky. I swear I lose brain cells just being near you. Forget everything I said about fish. Do you know where he is or not? Oh, he's up there. He got scared when he saw you coming. Oh, how? Should. Long as he doesn't chicken out, he doesn't have to do much. Well, we're about to find out. Here comes Randall. All right, Tubby. You know the drill, fork it over. Hey, don't turn your back on me. Give me that bone. <laughs> Get off me. Only if Randall promised to stop being meanie. Okay, I'll stop messing with you. Randall promise? Y yeah, I promise. I promise, okay? P please get off. <sighs> so, so, Randall stop bullying me now? Yes! Just stay away from me, you crazy dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wee Brutus, you got some big tooth. Thanks. I wonder if I'll have tooth this big when I grow up. Hmm. Uh, probably not quite that big. Are you sure this is uh, gonna work? A giant turkey. Nope. Bald eagle. Ostrich. Skunk. Panda. Water pig. Hippo. A sharp-nosed hippo. Rhino. Long-nosed hippo. Elephant. Why is that rock moving? That's a tortoise. Oh, a hyenan black crested gibbon. Oh, I was gonna say a monkey. Gibbons are actually apes. Hey, Brutus, look, I'm a dill pixie. Get it? Because my name is Pixie, and that sounds kind of like pickle. Yep, I get it. And I'm in a pickle jar. Yeah, that's very clever. And that's where <laughs> pickles go. Yeah, I understand. Also, I'm stuck. Oh, 
Oh. <sighs> huh? What's this? Hey, Brutus, what are they talking about? I think they're commenting on how the artist that draws our comic hasn't been consistently drawing you the same size. What do you mean? Well, each comic that he draws, you keep getting drawn smaller and smaller. Really? I haven't noticed. Come on, artist. You know she should be bigger than that. Uh, this doesn't seem right either. <sighs> I should have seen that coming. Brutus, look at this cool stick I found. Cool. You didn't even look. Come on, don't you want to play with it? Nope. Oh, come on. No, come on. I did. Come on. Huh? Jeez, you could have just said no. I did. Twice. Well, joke's on you. Now I got two cool sticks. You're welcome. Now please go away. Brutus, I think I just learned a new magic spell. Want to see? Sure, why not? What does it do? It turns rock into bunny rabbits. Rocko, Rocko, Wait, Alakazam! any rock? Hold on a second. Huh, it didn't work. I guess I need to practice this one some more. Nah, it worked fine. You just need to practice your aim. Um, who are you? <sighs> Hi there, Grim Reaper here. And this is my good boy Hugo. He's a little different than other dogs. For example, he eats a bit more than the average pooch. And when I'm the one eating, I've really got to keep my head on a swivel. Otherwise, he'll try to swipe my food, too. Oh, hey, buddy. You want a chin scratch? And, of course, every dog needs exercise. But I don't got muscles to take big old Hugo for a walk. So, I improvise. Oh, no. There's a cat in the road. Hugo's terrified of cats. Why do you always get so close? You know they're going to hiss at you. Oh, hey, Pixie. Check this out. Wowee, that's amazing. What is it? It's my jack-o'-lantern. It's where you carve a spooky face into a pumpkin. It's a Halloween tradition. I, I got a little pumpkin for you, too, so you can make your own. Wow, thanks! Is that okay? Did I do it right? Um, um, yeah. That's, uh, not bad. Hi, Mr. Headless Horseman! I noticed your pumpkin head was starting to get a bit wrinkly and mushy, so I made you a new one. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Looks like the coast is clear. Finally, I can enjoy some quality garbage in peace. No stupid pesky dog on my tail. Yeah! <sighs> well, wait, I come in peace. I'm just here to get some grub, that's all. I'm not looking for trouble. You could get your trash from some other neighborhood. But, but, this neighborhood has the best trash. Don't care, get lost. Listen, I know I've been a nuisance in the past, but I swear I'll leave you all alone. You'll hardly even know I'm here, but I promise. Mm, fine. Really? Yeah. But you so much look at anybody the wrong way, you'll regret it. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> nice. I've got my eye on you. Because you only got the one good eye. Eh, never mind. You're right. That is a pretty feather. Don't you know how we're going to get it down, though? Yeah, that's way too high for me to climb. Actually, I know someone who can get it down. Oh, come on. Please let me go. I didn't do nothing. Oh, hi, Randall. Are you here to get the pretty feather out of the tree branch? The what of the what? Ah! Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Hmm? Wow, that was so fast. Thanks, Randall. No problem. Help! I stuck! What? What do you mean you're stuck? I, I can't get down. Too high. Hugo, just step down. Too, too high. <sighs> okay, hold on. <laughs> there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Brutus. You saved me. Uh, yeah. No problem. Uh oh Hugo, are you kidding me? See you after school, Hugo. <sighs> Hugo? <sighs> Dude, if you really have to wait for me all day, at least wait inside. Contact! Hey, get back here! Got flashes! Find the truck! Second floor! I see it! Third floor, too! Brutus, no te preocupes, amigo. Mantén la cama. We are gonna be fine. Brutus, I couldn't sleep. I'm kinda scared of the thunder. Can I maybe sleep with you? Pixie, what are you doing here? The thun- Oh, right. Um, yeah. Sure you can. Don't worry. It's just thunder. We'll be fine. Wow, we Bugs are so cute! Don't you think? Uh, I guess, kinda. You know, where I used to work, there were huge bugs. Really? 
Oh yeah, somewhere darn near big as you. Wowee! That's so cool! Huge bugs would be so adorable! Well, here you go, Pixie. Give this a taste. Pixie, it's okay if you don't like it. You don't have to pretend. No, I really like it. It's super good. You know, it's okay to not like everything. It's not rude or impolite to dislike something. Besides, pretty sure Master just wanted to see your reaction. I don't think he expected you to like it. It's gross. Yeah? Really gross. Yep. It feels like my mouth is crying. Oh, jeez, I got sauce all over my head. Abracadabra. Hmm? Thanks. Welcome to my humble abode. Abode? Abode, yeah. As you can see, I have not one, but two whole windows. Both on the same wall. Very nice. And some fancy house decorations, of course. Yes, yes, of course. Really breathes life into the place. I even have my own double mattress bed. Uh, I think your bre- Er, your bed might end up getting moldy. You might want to use something less edible. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on in. Uh... Hmm, I wonder what color Hugo's eyes are. I don't recall ever actually seeing his eyes. Hmm, me neither. Me neither too. There could be anything under there. Well, no. I guess those meatloaf eyebrows of his always keep him covered. I'm sure he just has two normal eyes. Or maybe three normal eyes. Or three rainbow eyes. I'm gonna risk it and bet on the first one. <sighs> well, let's settle this, I guess. Stay still, please, Hugo. Uh, okay. Why for? See? Two nor- Oh. Oh my. Well, I was half I right. I was a third right? Me confused. So, Hugo, how did you lose your eye? Oh, well, when I was a puppy, I wander over to strange building. I'm curious, so I go inside. Then I run into Big Mama Chicken. And she- She no like that I was in there. Holy moly, so you got your eye pecked out by a chicken? That's terrible. Is- is that why you're so scared of birds? Yes. Well, I doubt it was pecked out. It's much more likely that the eyeball was simply punctured. Just damaged enough to where it needed to be surgically removed. Seriously, dude? What? I'm just saying, nothing wrong with being accurate. Okay, so try to guess what I'm drawing as fast as you can. Okay. Well, I'm done. You still don't know? Uh... Is it an angry squirrel? What? No, it's an eagle. Oh, of course. That was my next guess. Okay, my turn. Trust me, you definitely know this one. Is it a spaceship? N no, it's an animal. A horned monkey? No. Hmm, a horn. Those aren't horns, they're ears. Ooh, it's a horse! <sighs> yeah, it's a horse. Good job. This is some real good mud. Woohoo! Mud? Really? I have nothing against canines, but sometimes they can be such slavish creatures. They simply lack the sophistication that us felines have. Hmm? Yippee! Oh, for Pete's sake! Am I the only one with some cleanliness standards around here? Don't knock it till you try it, princess. Ah! Well, well, well. Welcome to the party, Wrinkles. Glad you could make it. It's a pleasure. The legendary adventure Pixie scales the mighty mountain with ease. She navigates. Navigates? Navigates the deadly rainforest. But how will she cross the raging river? The raging river has stopped! It's a miracle! Miracle? It's a miracle! Do you remember when we first met? Hmm... Let me tell you, Brutus. You're gonna love your new little sister. Little sister? Oh, great. I've gotta spend time with some annoying civilian house pet. Probably some annoying yippy little city pooch. You probably haven't spent much time around cats, have you? Cat? Ugh, even worse. Pixie, say hello to your new big brother. Big brother? Wowee! Huh? This is acceptable. Holy moly, you're the biggest dire wolf I ever seen. I'm not a wolf. Unicorn! Hmm. You're touching my face. I will never not be touching your face. Whoa, she wasn't kidding. She never jokes about face touching. Pixie, have you been playing in the mud recently? What? I couldn't hear you. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Whoa, how'd all this mud get here? Uh, now ain't that a pretty sight? Yeah, remember that time when we went up there? Uh, up where? Up on the moon, remember? What? 
What do you mean? You know, that time he went up into space and sat on the moon. What? Oh, I'm pretty sure that was just a dream, Pixie. A dream? No, I'm pretty sure it was real. Well, how did we get up there? You don't remember? We got a ride on that giant flying chipmunk. Oh, yeah, I guess that was probably a dream. Yeah, probably. Chipmunks don't have wings. They do not. I've got my wings! Now I just have to jump from some high place and start flapping! Ah, uh, that's not really how flying works. And what exactly makes you the expert on flying? I'm a bird. Fair point. What's going on here? No, nothing Me and Jerome were just trying to figure out how to make me fly. I mean, nothing? Hmm, for your own safety, I'll be taking those wings of yours. Oh man... And Gerald, if she ever gets hurt on your watch, I'll be taking your wings, too. Why do I hang out with you? Oh, relax. He probably doesn't mean that. Probably! Brutus, would you care to hear a scary campfire story? Sure. Okay, once upon a time, there were two people walking through the woods, when all of a sudden, they saw a ghost! Uh, then what happened? The end. Oh. Did you like it? Pretty spooky, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially that one part about the ghosts. It sure is windy today. Hmm? Idea. Sure is windy today. Hi, Brutus. Hey, Pixie. Bye, Brutus. Bye, Pixie. Dang it! It matters not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Hey, punk! This is my turf, Pero! You better walk away while you still can! <laughs> You're joking, right? You think this is a joke, muchacho? You won't be thinking it's funny in about five seconds, punk! I will mess you up! I'm gonna beat you down so bad, your kids are gonna feel it! <laughs> well, the size of the dog matters a bit, too. The great fire beast is just too powerful, my queen! Not if we strike as one! <laughs> oh darn. I've been smote. Wonderful. Will someone please untie me? Huzzah! We have vanished the great fire beast! Verily, the kingdom is safe once more! Wait. You think I'm the great fire beast? Fools. I am but a lonely henchman. Retreat! Abandon kingdom! kingdom! So that's a no to being untied. Parkour! 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 Parkour? Uh, that looks a bit too far, don't you think? Parkour! You good? Almost made it. Weren't even close. Darn. Gates closed. This looks like a job for my super ninja cat skills. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Easy peasy, lemon easy. Squeezy. Oh, easy peasy, squeezy easy. That's not. Never mind. Okay, so just do what I did, but be extra careful on the shovel. It's kind of slippery. Wowie! Yeah, super ninja dog skills. Uh, Super Ninja Gate wasn't latched. Hey, Randall, do you want to play dress up? I'd honestly rather get run over by a dump truck. You are kidding. You would love to. It sounds fun. <laughs> Just kidding. I would love to. Sounds like fun. Yay! Wowee, what do you think? Yay! I look completely... You love it. You think you look amazing. I love it. I look amazing. Yay! I will destroy anything that poses a threat to this innocent child. What the? Oh, of course. Of course, I'm the stormtrooper in this thing. Why am I even surprised? Nah, I ain't doing this. I'm out. Mm -hmm. Now all it needs is some light. <sighs> oh man, fire breathing is hard. How about we just use electric candles? Fresh pumpkin? Don't mind if I do. Huh? I, I mean, yes, I eat Randall, for I am a living pumpkin monster thing. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Come closer, little kitten, and I'll eat you, too. The pumpkin's alive. The pumpkin's alive. Dumb furball. Spit him out. Spit him out right now. <laughs> what the? Randall, you're okay. Yeah, you, uh, you'd risk getting eaten by a pumpkin monster to save me. Well, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, thanks, I guess. It's what friends do, right, Brutus? Right. Gah! How are you so big but so sneaky at the same time? 
Leave. Leaving? Hey, well, what? You want a race? Seriously? Okay, sure. If you say so. First one to the stop sign wins. Three, two... Wait, I gotta get ready first. Be right back. Oh, okay. Hmm. Cool. Okay, I'm ready. Heesh, finally. What took you so long? Oh, nothing much. I just gotta put on my running legs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the loss on this one. Aw, oh, come on. Just one race. And then the mutant chipmunk monster ate them alive! Wait, how did the chipmunk turn into a monster? Uh, nuclear radiation? Are you asking? Whatever. Telling scary stories is hard, okay? Shh, not that hard. You do one then, Mr. Scary Pants. But the screams were swallowed up by the raging blizzard, hopelessly lost to the cold, swirling snow. Along with the poor soul they came from. The end. <laughs> that, that's it? Wasn't even scary. That wasn't a true story, right? Friday night football, tonight. The bears take on the... Could do without the claws in my skull. Oh, oh sorry. I have formed a crystal kiss. I will soon grow wings like a butterfly. You gotta know that's not how it works. Probably, but it's worth a try. That should be long enough. Oh, I'm stuck. Yep, figured. Brutus, look what my eyes do when I shine light on them. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Very cool. You want to see something else cool they can do? Yeah! Sit on that shelf over there. Okay, now what? Pretty cool, right? Very cool. Brutus, I feel kind of weird. Weird how? I feel kind of... Kind of like a marketable plushie. Looks like you got a bad case of merchandise. Is it not contagious? What? Oh, you mean contagious. Shoot. Remember I said I'd tell you what happened when you were older? What do you mean? Oh, you mean the scars? Yeah. You don't have to if you don't wanna. No, it's fine. Well, I was with Sergio and I think six other men. We went to a house looking for, um, bad guys. There were, but we didn't know it at first. Sometimes they look and act, just like everyone else. Until they don't. I think I was the first one to see them, but it happened so fast. Too fast. I just wasn't quick enough. Wasn't quick enough. I got hurt pretty bad, but Sergio got it worse. Was he? Did he? Yeah, he did. That must have been really sad. It was. Still is. But, you know, time passes, hurts less than it used to, life goes on. A whole fruitcake? It's a Christmas miracle! Huh? Oh, come on, man! It's just gonna end up in a dump anyways! Fine, I guess it's okay if you- Thanks, bye! What is that fuzzy clump up there? Oh, it's a bat. Ooh, maybe it's a vampire in disguise! Vampires ain't real, Pixie. But did you know bats are the only mammals on Earth that can fly? Really? Did you know that bats are nocturnal? As in, we sleep during the day, hint hint? You forgot about unicorns. They're mammals and they can fly too. Unicorns ain't exactly real either. Besides, they actually can't fly. You were thinking of a pegasus or an alicorn. Why do I know this stuff? Seriously guys, go jabber somewhere else. I'm trying to catch some Z's here. Yeah, yeah, we're going. Don't get your wings in a twist, Count Dracula. Oh, real cute. That's a nasty stereotype, you know. Shame on you! I can feel you staring at it. What? Me? I'm not staring at anything. <sighs> I had an infected cut. They needed to shave the hair to treat the wound. Oh, that. I don't even see it. It's barely even noticeable. You're trying too hard. You know what? It actually looks good on you. Just stop. I wish my head had a bald spot. Seriously, shut up. Yes, sir. One, two, three, <laughs> nine, forty. All right, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Brutus will never find me. I look just like a pile of leaves. It's the perfect camouflage. It's camouflage. What? You found me already? Leaves don't usually talk. Well, leaves don't usually talk out loud to themselves about how much they look like leaves. Oh, right. Also, you didn't cover your butt. Alright, ready or not, here I come. 
Me win for sure this time. You gotta be kidding me. Psst. Oh, found you. Let's just let Hugo win this time. He'll never learn if people take it easy on him. Oh, come on. He's got a huge disadvantage. Literally. How can you expect him to win at hide and seek when he's twice the size of everyone else? Hmm. I suppose you got a point. Then what about her? Wowee! What a shiny lamp! Holy moly! I am a powerful genie. I shall grant three wishes to thou who has summoned me. Hmm, I wish for 100 wishes. You can't wish for more wishes. I wish that I could. <sighs> Fair enough. I wish to be a dinosaur! Rawr! Do I really have to sit in this bucket? You mean magic lamp? Right. Yes, you are bound to the magic lamp for all of eternity. But don't worry, I'll use my 100th wish to set you free. I wish you'd do it sooner. 23! 23 what? 23 times climbing up and down this rock pile. Oh, why? Training! I'm gonna be the first cat to climb Everest Mountain! You know Mount Everest is pretty tall, right? Of course, but nothing is impossible with hard work and a positive attitude. It's about 30,000 feet tall. Oh, uh, how many rock piles is that? Don't know. I'd guess around 10,000. Also, it's in Asia, like 8,000 miles away from here. How many backyards is that? Randall! <laughs> Are you a ghost or something? Do you float? Listen, it occurs to me that lately I've been unfairly hostile towards you. Oh, like last week when you threw me over the fence for littering. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Or when you threatened to remove my jaw for chewing too loud? I don't remember that one. I do. Vividly. Well, point is, my job is to keep Pixie safe. But I guess sometimes I can be a tad over aggressive. You haven't been trouble for some time now, so I ought to start treating you better. Well, well, look who's warming up to me. Looks like even Big Bad Brutus can't resist my natural charm. Uh, I was just playing! Start your engines! Vroom! Hmm, this race car is a very quiet engine. Uh, it's electric? How about you do the sound effects? Yeah! First place! Well, we, Brutus, you're really fast. It was like driving a real race car. Psh, that was just a jog. I didn't want you getting hurt. Let's head inside now. Okay. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. Mr. Cactus, if you're alive, you can tell me. I promise I won't tell anyone. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I guess you're not alive after all. Gotcha. Huh. Never mind. Hands up, bad guy. I'm taking you to bad guy jail. You think I'm just gonna give up? Don't you know who I am? When I fell into a vat of toxic newspaper, I transformed to the evil Dr. Paperface. And Dr. Paperface surrenders to no one. Well, in that case, please leave me! Gah, my only weakness, being frozen. Gotta admit, you're a lot better at this pretend stuff than I am. It's about committing to the role. I'm not pretending to be frozen in ice. I am frozen in ice. Brutus, come. Brutus, Brutus, Brutus? Wait, why am I looking here? Brutus? Oh, I see. Morning, Brutus. I had a super cool dream last night. Yeah? What about? First, we went Scooby, uh, scuba diving, and then we discovered the lost city of Atlanta. Er, Atlantis. Then we explored a dragon lair full of treasure. Then we went to Ice Cream Land. A land made of ice cream. Ice Cream Land? Oh, of course. We rode on colorful balloons up into the clouds. Then we escaped a fleet of alien spaceships. Wow, that's a wonderful dream. Uh, yep, what do you dream about, Brutus? Meh, same sort of stuff, more or less. Well, we I've never seen a real porcupine before. Hey, hey now, back off, cat. Listen, I know you porcupines have a bad reputation for spiking anyone that gets too close. That is a thoroughly accurate reputation. Well, I'm a firm believer in breaking stereotypes, so to show that I trust you, I'm gonna give you a big ol' hug. I'm literally promising that I'll spike you if you get any closer. Come here, buddy. Pixie! Mm -hmm. mm. Does it, does it hurt? Nope, feels fantastic, actually. Thanks for asking. Are you sure it doesn't hurt? It looks like it hurts. Does it now? Cause it feels just terrific. I hope that porcupine comes around again so I could get a second round of face quills. I'm sorry, I just saw it. You just thought what? That it was a good idea to try to hug an angry porcupine? Is that what you just thought? I... I don't know. 
Listen, Pixie, you're not a kitten anymore, and I won't always be around to save you. You just... The world can be a nasty place, okay? If you are too soft, it'll squish you, and if you're too trusting, it'll stab you in the back or in the face. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay, I'll try to be more careful. That's all I need to hear. So, just to be totally clean, you were being sarcastic about it not hurting, right? Yeah, it hurts a lot. Can we have candy? Sure, but there's going to be a mommy tax. Wait, one, two, three? Uh, who's this? Hmm, I just kind of showed up. What? She just kind of showed up. What? Oh, thank goodness, that must be your mother. I am so sorry, ma'am. Brutus! Man, sir? It's fine. She's got a knack for wandering off. Whoa! <laughs> cool scars! Are you a gangster? Did a zombie bite you? <laughs> well, getting late. Time for bed. It's only 1,500 hours. Let's get those teeth brushed. Nice to meet you, sir. My dad could beat up your dad. Hey, Brutus, what would you do if someone got their hand stuck in a vacuum cleaner? Uh, I guess I'd try to pull it out. Okay, but what if you didn't want to pull too hard because it could yank out his feathers? What? This is a hypothetical question, right? Aww. Pixie? How? Sorry, Gerald. I'm not very good at lying. <laughs> you guys look different. Yeah, I can't place why, though. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Different? How so? Oh, that must be it. Me think maybe new outfit? Guys, we're not even wearing clothes. However, since you mentioned it, you two look a tad different as well. I have absolutely no clue what you were talking about. Oops. Well, whatever it is, I have a feeling it's a temporary thing. And after a certain date, they'll suddenly all go back to normal. As though it never happened in the first place. That's a very specific feeling. What's his problem? I don't know. He's always grumpy and tired every morning. Me wonder why. Are you guys serious? You two snore unfathomably loud. It's like sleeping beside two running lawnmowers. Why don't you just sleep in a different room then? Get it? Because you can't. Yes, I understand the joke. Because we're literally attached to the same body. Truly hilarious. Yeah, Pixie's snoring keeps me awake too. She's a noisy sleeper? Well, no, but... <sighs> Pixie! Take my eyes off her for one second and she wanders off? She better not be getting into any trouble. Yep, that's about right. This again? I'm not a crocodile, I'm an alligator! Alligator! Oh, sorry. Do people get that mixed up a lot? Yes, all the time! It's infuriating! Wanna it's the talk little about things it? that really. It's the little things that really hurt. Some tourists will say, Oh, look, it's a crocodile. And someone else will say, No, it's just an alligator. What do you mean, just an alligator? Is that so disappointing? Ah. <sighs> They talk about us like we're just inferior off-brand crocodiles. You know, if you look hard enough, anything can look like a face. Really? Anything. You just gotta use your imagination. Okay. How about the hoodie on the couch? I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Yeah, me neither. Wowee, Brutus, look! It's another, uh, German sheeper, just like you! Actually, I'm what's called Malinois, which is a type of Belgian shepherd. Oh, what's the difference? Well, I'm glad you ask. We smaller, weaker, and less fur to keep them warm. That's the difference. In other words, I'm faster, more portable, and more tolerant to hot climates. Being easy to carry ain't nothing to brag about, backpack. Being tolerant to warm weather isn't either, Cyclops. I'm also intolerant to annoying dogs. Well, that's one thing we have in common. Let's go, Brutus. Come on, Dexter. I like that guy. Me too. Stands his ground. I respect that. I think you're going to like the new neighborhood, Dexter. I heard there's another dog living here for you to play with. Oh, really? Look, it's your buddy from the park. What the? Why don't you go play, Dexter? No, no, no. You've got to be kidding me. You are my neighbor? And? 
Got a problem with that backpack? That is not my name! What luck. Of course we end up moving right next door to the world's grumpiest dog. Hey, <gasps> neighbor! What's your name? Uh, cool! I... Where'd you from? Really? What's it like there? And the world's most annoying dog. Wow, you know what? You look just like Brutus. Minus the scars, obviously. What? Yeah, you guys could be twins. I look nothing, nothing like, like him. him. Look, he's way scrawnier than me. More fit, you mean. And I don't have scars all over my mug. That's why she said minus the scars, genius. So you're agreeing with her? No, I'm just saying use your ears. Hey, house pets. I'm back from the dump. And I must say the dining was exquisite. The heck? Who's this pooch? He looks just like Brutus. Minus the scars, obviously. I, I look, look nothing, nothing like, like him. him! Hey, Brutus! You're back from your walk! That I am. Good walk? Good as any, I suppose. Remember when you accidentally whacked my face while wagging your tail yesterday? A uh, little why. Oops, sorry. Well, I forgive you. Oh, I kind of assumed you already did forgive me. I did! And now I'm forgiving you again! Double forgiveness! Because forgiving someone for making a mistake is the right thing to do. Hmm. What did you do? Uh, oh, are you mad? I would be if I wasn't so curious how you even did this in the first place. There could be anything in this rock, like a fossil, or a gemstone, or an alien ooze that'll give me superpowers. I doubt all of that, but I guess we'll never know since we can't break it open. Hmm. You have a plan to break it open? Yep. And it involves me somehow? Yep. And that's why you invited me over? Nope, I just like hanging out with you. But by total coincidence, I do have a plan and I do need your help. Hey, this isn't gonna work. It's simple physics. Heavy, sharp object going super fast equals big destructive power. Or something like that. You sure about this? Am I ever not sure about anything? No, that's the problem. No, drop, no. Perfect. <laughs> what are the chances that didn't break anything? Same chances that the rock being full of alien super ooze? Pixie, that you? Oh, have you seen Pixie? No, I just came to ask, did you perhaps tell Lola that there's a T-Rex skeleton buried in our backyard? Yeah, I did. So she'd go away and stop annoying me. Well, can you please tell her that you are lying? Why? She hasn't figured it out yet. Respectfully, you really ought to know by now how gullible she is. She's been digging nonstop for the last seven hours. Oh, for Pete's sake, Lola! There is no skeleton! I was messing with you. Right, let me do all the work, then trick me into leaving so you can steal all the glory. What? No, that's not- Nice try, but I'll be the first dog in history to dig up a T-Rex skeleton. Pixie! Not if I find it first! This is the one. Dang it, so close! Hello, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Hugo, I'm playing a game I just invented. The goal is to try to launch this gnome as close to that loop in the garden hose as possible. Bonus points if you actually get it in the loop, but that's super hard. Me try? Sure. Don't worry if you miss by a mile. It takes a lot of practice to get as good as me. Too far. Yeah, just a bit. That speckled one there is a downy woodpecker. Wowee! Indeed. Ah, and that black one with the red patch on its wing is the aptly named Red Winged Blackbird. Wowee, you sure know birds good. Well, you mean, but yes, I'm quite knowledgeable in avians. Neat trick for showing off. Need very useful information, though. I disagree. All knowledge is valuable knowledge. After all, you know what they say, knowledge is power. So by that logic, you're more powerful than me? Uh, well, that's not what... I just... It's not only a saying, not meant to be taken literally. Yeah? No kidding. Huh? What's that bird? Yes, let's change the subject. Oh, I'm honestly not familiar with that one. Smells like a feast, fit for a king. But of course the humans lock it away in a stupid compost barrel to make that stupid dirt for their stupid garden. Man, I wish there was a way to open it. Am I? Magic? Hey, raccoon! Get out of our compost! Yeah! I also wish I were invisible! Uh, can you still see me? Yes. Darn. Worth a try. On this historic day, Brutus and Dexter shall compete in a rigorous series of events to prove once and for all who is a true top dog. I ain't playing. 
This is dumb. Spoken like someone who knows they're gonna lose. Okay, I am playing, but it's still dumb. Is that really you pulling your hardest backpack? Is that really you running your fastest, Grandpa? 45 seconds, 28 seconds. Are we sure he's completely blind in that eye? Hugo Pool. Okay, I guess that's a draw. Swimming Dexter. No launch Brutus. High jump Dexter. World history trivia Brutus. So the total score is Brutus 15, Dexter also 15. It's a tie. Seriously? Oh, come on. Fellas, perhaps a tie is the best outcome. After all, is it so bad to conclude that maybe neither of you are better than the other? That you're both good at different things? Nah, that's lame. We need a tiebreaker. Uh, I need more cat friends. There, that'll do. All right, Pixie, if you ever run into trouble and I ain't there to protect you, you're gonna need to know some basic self-defense. So, if this mean animal is trying to hurt you, what do you do? Hi, I'm Pixie. Please don't hurt me. That would be mean. Let's be friends, okay? What? No. No. Don't just ask him to uh, go for his neck. Like this? N no! I meant bite his neck. But wouldn't that hurt? Yes, it's supposed to hurt. That's the point. But if I hurt him, he might not want to be my friend. Could be worse. Wow, we you sure got some big toots, Brutus. Uh, thanks. Do you think I'll have toots that big when I grow up? Hmm. <sighs> Probably not. Darn. Tag, you're it. You give up already? Darn. I'm way too slow for this game. Hmm? Tag, you're it. Good job. <laughs> Wake up, sleepy butt. Hey, what is your major malfunction? Hey, relax. It's just a prank. You hose me with cold water. That's not a prank. Sure it is. Well, doing something annoying, then calling it a prank, don't magically make it funny. Well, I thought it was pretty funny. There. You've been pranked. Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, you sure got me. Can you untie me now? Nah. What? I think I'll just leave you here. Relax. It's just a prank. Okay, okay. You made your point. Hey, come back. Hey, Brutus. I have a question. Yeah? I love going on night walks. That ain't a question. Oh, um, do you love going on night walks? Sure. It's always nice to get my steps in. Wow, wee, the sun's coming up. It's so pretty. Already? How long we been walking? Oh, I think I missed a step. Do I really gotta wear these clanky boots? Well, you keep accidentally starting fires, so yeah. I'll be careful. I just won't touch anything burning. Flammable. Flamey what? Okay, let's hear it. What is a skeleton's favorite instrument? A tr- Uh, I don't know. What? It's... <clears throat> a trombone! Get it? Was it not funny? It was... Just hold on one second. Your evil robot stuff ends now, evil bot! Oops! Huh? Where did that cry come from? Huh? Ah! What? Brutus, What's wrong? Brutus! Where? What is it? It it was right there! It was like a crack, and, and I looked at it and I saw some weird alien thing in. Pixie, don't play like that. I thought you were really in trouble. It I but Come here, Pixie. Wanna see something cool? Huh? <gasps> oh dear, Lola, it appears you have a tick. I do? Gross, get it off! I got it. Repulsive little parasite. Ew. <laughs> That's disgusting. What blood? Yes. Why? It's your blood. Your body's full of it. It's not gross when it's in your body. <sighs> you guys are way too soft. Blood seriously doesn't gross you out? Meh, not really. Seen plenty of it. Hey, Mr. Wrinkles. Ah, Pixie. How can I help you? You told me birds can fly because they're really light. Correct. They have hollow bones, which allow them to fly with ease. But then how do planes fly? Aren't they super duper big and they don't even flap their wings? Very thoughtful observations, Pixie. Thank you. Well, you see, weight is not the only factor that contributes to flight. Yes, planes are very large, but they also have large wings to generate lift. 
which is the upward force on the wings, acting perpendicular to the re Hmm, I'm not making any sense to you, am I? Nope. Well, there's other factors too, such as thrust, which is, um, the force generated by the aircraft which propels it forward. Does that make sense to you? Nope. Hmm, well, aerodynamics is also an important, no, that's rather complicated too. Air density is, no, that's even worse. Low pressure, no. Pixie, I'm not capable of explaining the physics of flight in a way that you'd understand. So I'm going to stop trying. Okay. Planes can just fly, okay? Okay. Okay, so you are the flower captain. And as the princess of the flower kingdom, I command you to send the royal flower army to rescue the last unicorn from the rock monster. Otherwise, all the magic in the world will be lost forever. That's so humiliating. <laughs> Look, he is... You could practically hear what he's thinking. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'd tear this annoying kitten to shreds if I could get away with it. If I'm the flower captain, why am I in command of the entire royal flower army? Wouldn't that make me the flower general? Why am I taking orders from the flower princess instead of the king or queen? <laughs> no time to question order of command. I've got a unicorn to rescue. It shall be done, princess. Bye, Brutus. Come on, Brutus. Let's go outside already. Yeah, just give me ten more minutes. Ugh, you said that ten minutes ago. Don't. What? I'm just looking at it, sitting there, so close to the edge. Don't do it. Resist your instincts. What instincts? What mug? I'm not even thinking about- Pixie! I can't help it! Hey, Brutus, why do they call it duct tape if it works on cats too? No, not duck. It's duct. As in, like an air vent? Wait. What do you mean, it works on cats, too? Yeah, I thought it would only stick to ducks. Oh. But it stuck to me, too. Right. Even though I'm not a duck or an air vent. I see that. Hmm. What on earth? This tape actually sticks to a lot of stuff. Yeah, don't get too hung up on the name. Ugh, I hate this thing. I can't scratch the rash on my neck with it on. That's why they put it on, you genius. Won't we'll heal if you keep scratching it. Well, I wouldn't have scratched it if I knew I'd have to wear this awful thing. If you knew? I explicitly warned you this would happen. Well, I didn't know this is what you meant. What else could I have possibly meant when I said, if you keep scratching it, they'll put a cone on your head? Wait, did you think I meant an ice cream cone? Why am I even asking? Of course that's what you thought. And I will not apologize for making that assumption. You're an idiot. No, I'm an optimist. Those two labels are not mutually exclusive. Hmm. Surprise steering contest! Hmm. 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 Darn, how are you so good at not blinking? Maybe you're just really bad at it. Hey! Were you holding your breath? She's and been then I saw that package delivery guy again. Minutes. So I barked at him Should obviously I just tell and scared him, to him right back to his no, truck. Well, I don't know if I scared I'll him walk off away. or if he Wait, was going to his no, truck anyway. That's even worse. But I'm Hello! Lola to Dexter! Do you read me, Dexter? What? Huh? I said, what would you do if you could be a shark for one day? Oh, sorry. I zoned out. You kind of talk a lot. What? No, I don't. You do. A lot. I could easily not talk. I could not talk for a whole day. Okay, I never said... Challenge accepted. I didn't chow... Starting now, I won't talk for the rest of the day. You don't have to... Wait, not starting when I said now, but starting at the end of that sentence. This talking doesn't count either. Okay, just say go and I'll start then. Go? Thanks. Wait, the thanks doesn't count either. And neither does this. Ugh, I don't like your stupid game anymore. I give up. <laughs>